hello everyone today i am here uh, with one video uh, which is related to the partial differential equation bsc third year mathematical physics and uh, here is one question which was asked in the uh, Trivan university examination a few years back um, so the question is like this starting from the laplace equation in the spherical coordinates okay find the permanent temperature within a solid sphere of unit radius actually uh, find the temperature uh, permanent temperature within a solid sphere there is a solid sphere and, uh, uh, and we we actually need to find the permanent temperature distribution of the unit radius when one half of the surface of the sphere is kept at constant temperature and other half is at 30 degree centigrade uh, okay let us uh, go ahead in the question and uh, now actually how actually we can start is that so first let us uh, write the boundary conditions the boundary condition according to the boundary condition one half uh, is at you know uh, at 30 degree centigrade and other half is at 0 degree centigrade so here uh, what uh, we can do is let us consider the sphere in which there is the axis x y and z axis and uh, if we cut uh, this sphere into the two halves uh, this is separated by the two halves and uh, uh, the upper half and the lower half are exactly similar okay as the as the as it is as the sphere is symmetrical in shape so we do not need to consider the whole sphere rather we will consider the half sphere only so in the okay this dotted line actually this dotted line you you can see here this dotted line separates the sphere into the two parts one part is in the right side and one part is in the left side now let us for instance let us ignore let us ignore the uh, uh, bottom uh, side this one let us ignore the bottom size size you know this is you 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 can see here and let us take only this uh, in this half okay from 0 to pi by 2 the temperature is 30 degree centigrade okay psi means let us suppose that is the temperature distribution uh, and for 0 to pi by 2 the temperature is 30 degree centigrade and uh, and uh, in going from pi by 2 to pi that's that's the is the another half so there the temperature is constant uh, there is uh, one question which is exactly similar to this question but um, the temperature is given as 0 degree centigrade and 0 degree centigrade on other half that question was solved in uh, the bs rasput textbook you can see from there as well uh, but uh, in in uh, particular context in in this context we have asked that um, the temperature is p uh, constant so that's why i have just taken the constant temperature at as p degree centigrade okay so uh, now let us uh, this is i already uh, told you before now after setting the boundary condition let us move ahead now Mm, as the here uh, actually in the spherical polar coordinates we actually know that the coordinates are r theta and phi we know that r theta and phi as the distribution for upper half will be found symmetrical okay as the distribution for lower half will be symmetrical so there is no need of the coordinate phi okay so because this uh, 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 the as the spherical shape means symmetrical shape that's why uh, we, we, we it is not necessary for us to uh, take the lower half that's why we can ignore the this coordinate phi uh, so by which uh, the, the the question become little bit uh, simplified now from the laplace equation we know that nebula square phi is equal to zero that's why uh, you can write the value of the nebula square 1 by r square divided by del r r square del psi by del r plus 1 by r square sin theta del by del theta sin theta del psi by del theta plus 1 by r square sin square theta del square psi by del phi square so as phi is independent so that's why we can ignore this term we can ignore this term and uh, the remaining term are and uh, just uh, uh, use the product rule over here u dv by dx plus v dv by dx and you will get this one and uh, this term is as it is and you have removed that uh, that one term okay 
so uh, here uh, just now uh, as it is necessary for to remove uh, to uh, omit this r square from this second term just multiply on the both side by the r square then what you will get you the r square will be here 2r and 1 by sin theta del by delta sin theta del. okay so uh, its solution actually you have to um, remember this because uh, while uh, while solving while uh, finding the solution of the laplace equation in the spherical polar coordinates you will get the solution like this psi is equal to uh, summation n a n r to the power my n plus uh, b n upon r n to the r to the power n plus 1 p n cos theta this you can you can in in this particular question you can write directly it is not necessary to go and find the whole expression okay but you have to remember this actually this is the solution of the laplace equation in a spherical polar coordinates okay so um, and now uh, as as uh, at the center okay at the center of the uh, sphere there should be some temperature we know the temperature should be finite but if we look at to the above expression if we put r is equal to 0 in the second term then uh, something bn upon uh, 0 means it will it will comes out to be infinite it will comes out to be infinite that's why that's why uh, if uh, if we uh, take this term it is not valid bn divided by r to the power r to the power n plus 1 it's going to be infinite so which is not possible so that means our solution uh, we can we can ignore this term we can ignore this term and uh, uh, and we will just get uh, psi n a n r to the power my n p n cos theta okay so this is the value of psi and now uh, as the as the condition is that actually we need to find the temperature distribution uh, okay on the surface on the surface for this uh, for the surface of the spherical um, you know body r is equal to 1 that's why what we get psi is equal to psi n sigma n a n uh, here if we place uh, if we write r is equal to 1 then we will get a n p n cos theta let us suppose that cos theta equal to mu then a n p n mu now multiplying on both sides now multiplying on both sides by p n mu and integrating in the limit minus 1 to plus 1 so psi psi okay what what we are getting here uh, we are getting here psi um, pn pn mu d mu is equal to minus 1 to 1 an we just uh, you can just remove this psi n and uh, uh, an pn square mu because pn pn 2 p uh, pn square and d mu okay so uh, now uh, what you can write is uh, you just uh, write down this term and from here an just take the common an and uh, minus 1 to 1 uh, pn pn square mu its value is 2 upon 2n plus 1 okay so that's why uh, the value of an will be like this uh, you can just uh, cross multiply this you will get 2n plus 1 by 2 minus 1 to 1 psi pn mu d mu okay so now now uh, i just uh, uh, replace uh, the value of mu and we have a value of mu as cos theta so uh, when uh, you know when uh, theta is equal to when mu equal to minus one, the theta will be minus uh, pi, and when uh, you know mu equal to one, theta will be uh, zero. So that's why, and d mu mu means uh, mu means uh, cos theta. Okay, then d mu means what minus sine theta d theta. Okay, so this one, and now uh, you are just uh, and this minus, and now this again interchange this uh, pi to zero, uh, just replace inter interchange this uh, 0 to pi then this minus will be uh, compensated and we will get the relation like this 2n plus 1 by 2 minus 0 to pi psi pn cos theta sin theta theta okay now actually we can uh, we can you know divide this uh, you can we can actually separate this term into the two parts from uh, with one range from 0 to pi by 2 another range from pi by 2 to pi why actually we are doing this is because the boundary conditions are different for uh, these two limits so from going from 0 to pi the temperature that psi is equal to 30 and uh, while going from you know pi by 2 to pi the the, the temperature distribution is p as, as we are setting already uh, this p so 
and now after putting the values we will uh, we can actually find the value of a naught a1 a2 and that's so on and finally as the as our solution is like this we have already have psi is equal to sigma n a n r to the power ma n p n mu so uh, just uh, just expand this uh, summation and we will get uh, a naught put the value of uh, n from ranging from 0 0 1 2 3 and that's one so on so if we put the values we will uh, the expansion will be like this and again mu is equal to cos theta that's why and just replace mu by cos theta and we are getting this term and by putting uh, by again putting you can we can actually put the value of a naught a1 a2 similar because i have uh, i already told you that we can actually find the uh, this value of a naught a1 a2 in this method after integration but i didn't show here the integration you can actually just simplify this you can just find the values and you can write otherwise it is not uh, mandatory to write uh, the all the integrating term the pattern you have uh, you you just reach to the pattern and the, the the pattern of the temperature distribution so this is a very important question because it was asked in the previous years in the final examinations i hope uh, it this video may help you for the preparation of your exam so thank you very much